Well, hello, a very warm welcome to you for this evening's game. Hello, Regrettably, the weather has been extremely unkind to us here. It is wet and blustery and remarkably inhospitable. Despite all of that, it is good to see that the faithful from both sides have apparently been undeterred. We have a terrific turnout here. The atmosphere is bubbling despite these adverse conditions. All we need now is for the game to live up to its initial billing. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. It is a monster matchup, Jim Beglin. Well, the atmosphere, Peter, certainly doesn't feel like a friendly. We all know about the quality we have on show here, so I hope that the crowd demand as much as they can get, and I hope the players will oblige on that. And as you can see, we've already started here. Now it's Nketiah. He's been picked out. Now the finish! Oh, no. No circumventing this opponent. Goes searching with that cross. And he's quick to get it clear again. Saliba spread out to the left Gabriel Jesus Zinchenko cleared without hesitation white so it is still nil-nil A lot of space, and shot a goal! It's a loop, it's bounced out! And again! Oh, it's come loose! That, Peter, is wonderful reading of the game. Perfect positioning, well played. Nketiah. It's Nketiah! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and, and very nearly made them pay. Ciao. Musa. Xiao. Oh, that pass isn't the best. Gently done. Now it's Nketia. Gabriel Jesus. No, he's not getting past him there. And the first half is done. Well, there it is, half time. Not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game what remains goals. So we reach the halfway point. What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end. And I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Arsenal can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Sinchenko goes steaming forward. They want to be quick to recover this. Rice. He's going for goal! Well, what a time for the captain to step up and put his team in front again, but while it doesn't necessarily guarantee a win here, it's a wonderful early boost in this second half. And that is fabulous. A true beauty of a goal. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach.
So we have our breakthrough. Oh, half time has been a blessing for this team. You know, what a great start to the second half. Odegaard. Now it's Nketia. Has a shot! The attendance for this match well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, he doesn't need a second invitation, even from that range. Well, that is asking for trouble. Florenzi. Rafael Leao. He's left his man. He's found the way through. He's got the shot away. It's in, and that looks to me very much like an own goal. Well, that wasn't in the script, and you have to feel for him, Peter. It's ended in uh, some embarrassment. Well, who saw that coming? It has certainly made things interesting. Listen, sometimes you need that little bit of luck in games like these. Krunic. Gets himself into trouble and he's lost it. Odegaard. Played out to the right. Rafael Leao. a little off target Krunic Pulisic gets away from his opponents Milan showing a good level of intensity at this stage they're calling on all their resources now Saka receives a little Saka Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Substitution. Milan choosing to make the first change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. And he stands tall, impenetrable. Look, there has to be more urgency here. The there ball has to get to the other end time. much faster. Partey. Erdegaard, a scorer already in the game. Five minutes to add. Zinchenko. Arsenal looking to pass their way through. Now it's Mkhitsia. Can he put it away? And that could so easily have gone in. It didn't, and the 90 minutes are up. Well, look, this has been a, a hard-fought encounter, Peter, so mistakes are far more likely over the next 30 minutes. And a quick reminder today, everybody... So a brief breather, and then extra time. Thank you for your cooperation.